No, we just a cleanup crew. We come and clean it up. A few burn marks in the eaves are the only hints this once vacant home at Locust and Buffum made headlines when it was torched back in March. Hopefully we'll have somebody in it within another, the first of the month. Contractors Roger Wilkes and Tom Taylor bring battered homes back to life. They've watched the burning in Sherman Park. Taylor lives there. It's their neighborhood, so why are you tearing your own neighborhood up? But I just can't figure out what makes them do it. The house ain't did nothing to nobody. The Department of Neighborhood Services says in 2014, the city tore down 400 distressed properties using a one-time settlement from mortgage lenders in the housing collapse. Since then, the city budget only covers demolition of about 100 of the city's 4,200 vacant buildings each year. The Sherman Park neighborhood is home to 535 of those vacant properties, like the home that burned this morning and the one that burned Tuesday at 50th and Clark. The contractors say something needs to change. There's too many vacant homes in the city and they need to do something besides tear them down. There's too many homeless people and there's too many vacant places.